Next week marks the 20th anniversary of a brutal chapter in the history of Burma, also known as Myanmar. On August 8, 1988, the military there cracked down on a democracy movement just like they suppressed a similar people's movement last fall. The democratically elected prime minister and Nobel Prize winner Aung San Suu Kyi has been detained there for most of the last 18 years. In her documentary, Buddha's Warrior, CNN's chief international correspondent Christiane Amanpour takes a closer look inside Burma and even talks to the Buddhist monks leading this battle who promise to fight on. Because journalists are not welcome in Burma, we sent in an undercover team posing as tourists. We found a veil of secrecy had descended across the land. The same temples and monuments where the daily protests had begun are now shrouded in fear. None of the monks who had taken part would talk openly to us. When evening came, so did the soldiers, and that's when many monks were brutally attacked. We have both young and old monks here, and we're afraid for their safety. Despite the heavy hand of repression, the monks have vowed to continue their peaceful fight against the regime. The traditional ties between the people and the monks compel us to continue the struggle. We will do it again. Soon there will be another eruption because the monks won't let their movement die. People are afraid of informers and arrest, but they'll protest again. The regime maintains its state of fear by deploying these not-so-secret police agents. They record and photograph any unsanctioned political activity, like this rally by supporters of Aung San Suu Kyi. Protesters demand her release. Instead, the junta extended her detention and continued their iron grip. That was Christian Amanpour reporting. The government of Myanmar did not respond to CNN's requests for an interview.